everyone, the objectives of this video are to define elastic and plastic deformation. We're then going to learn about the Young's modulus, or also referred to as the modulus of elasticity. We're going to have a look at Hooke's law and then Poisson's ratio to finish. Okay, so first of all, to learn the difference between elastic and plastic deformation. When we have an elastic deformation, this is when a load is applied and then removed and no permanent deformation has occurred. So in other words, it's a reversible deformation. So if, when you, if you imagine that you um, deform something enough that when you let go, it will spring back to where it originally was and no permanent damage or deformation has occurred to the material. So on the other side of this, we have plastic deformation, which is when permanent deformation has occurred. So it cannot be reversed back to where it initially was. Okay, so let's have a look at this graph that we're going to see quite often. So we call this a stress strain curve. And essentially, it's just a curve where on the y axis, we're measuring stress, whereas on the x axis, we're measuring strain. Okay, and the part that we're looking at right now, well, that's going to be the part from this way to the left. So we're looking at the straight line section here. And during that section where the gradient is constant and there's no